Another physical property that we're going to use for the unknown liquid along with our density is boiling point. And so we're going to assemble our apparatus. We want to put a couple of boiling chips into a clean dry test tube. We're going to add about half of our unknown liquid into the test tube. And then we're going to assemble our apparatus. So we've got our thermometer and a rubber hose to keep the vapors away from us. We want to add the thermometer into the test tube so that the bulb is just a little bit above the liquid level. And that way we are operating and we are determining the vapor, the temperature of the vapor of the liquid. Now we can lower this down into the water that's going to evenly heat our liquid. And we want the level of our unknown and the level of the water to be just about equal to each other. That way we will determine if the volume is decreasing over time. We want to be careful that our rubber tube does not touch our hot plate because it's, the tube is made out of uh, material that can melt. We're going to turn this on and wait for our unknown to boil. The boiling point of this liquid has been reached. We know that it's the boiling point because there's a free and rapid boil. The liquid is condensing on the thermometer and the largest sign that we know is that the temperature has leveled off and is no longer rising. You will be provided pictures of the thermometer for your liquid unknown to determine its boiling point.